angle do you see with just your eye? Because that tells you about the measurements you need to be thinking about. Obtuse. An obtuse angle. What do you know about the measurements of an obtuse angle? It's more than 90. More than 90. Do I need to move my protractor a little bit? Yes. How much? Where to? To the line. Okay, make it line up with the line. So just maybe bring it down just a little bit. Bring it this way. Right in there. All right, remember what you said, it's an obtuse angle. Would you use the top scale or the bottom scale? The top scale. The top scale. So what degree measurement do you think we are looking at here? 148. All right, you're thinking 148? Let's give it a whirl. Nice job, you are too good, this is awesome. All right, Kilo, you've already done one, right? Brandon, have you done one? Yes. yes? Alea, have you done one? Go ahead, hop up it. All right, looking at my protractor, I see an angle. First, it told us to identify the type of angle we're looking at. What type of angle do you think you see? Acute. An acute angle. Which, what do you know about the measurements of an acute angle? It's going to be less than 90. Less than 90 degrees. Do I need to move my protractor a little bit? Yes, ma'am. All right. Here? Mm -hmm. That's good? Right there? Huh. Or do I need to keep going to line it up with the ceiling? Remember, we line up one of the rays with the zero, and then you follow the other ray out. Are you going to use the top scale or the bottom scale? Bottom. Okay, and tell me why. Because it, um, the acute angle is less than 90. Perfect, perfect day. So what you thinking about a measurement? Mm -hmm. Let me get closer. Don't be scared down by I mean 44. You think 44? Let's give it a try. Whoops. The correct measurement is, it says 35. Let's look at it and figure out where we went wrong. Here is our ray. Do you agree? Everybody mm -hmm. sees our ray? She identified perfectly that it was an acute angle. She also identified that it had to be the bottom set of numbers because that's what we were looking at for less than 90 degrees, right? Her line goes right up between the 40 and the 30. Guys, it's important to pay attention to all the numbers on the protractor around it because she might have counted four steps over and didn't realize where her line, what two numbers, it fell between, okay? So if it's between 30 and 40, could it have been 44? No. no. So if we're at 30 and these little tick marks are very important, it's one, two, three, four, and it's on the fifth one, so 35. You see? Mm -hmm. Nice job. I appreciate the work. All right, Shayla, you ready, love? Go ahead and stand on up. Okay, you're thinking on obtuse, maybe a little bit more than 90. Um, let's check with the protractor. I'm going to line it up. Do I line it up right there? Yes. All right. Shayla, go ahead and look at it. You said it was an obtuse angle, so should you use the top scale of numbers or the bottom scale of numbers? The top. The top, okay. Go ahead and tell me what measurement you were believing to see. It's between 100 and 105. Okay, you're thinking 103. Nice job, right on, very good. I think you see, obtuse. Okay, he's very confident with his answer, obtuse. And what does an obtuse angle tell us about the measurements? It's more than 90 degrees. It's gotta be more than 90 degrees. Do I need to move my protractor? Yes. Yes. Even with the zero. Oh, very good, nice. Right here. All right, what? Scale numbers, are you going to use the top scale or the bottom scale? Top scale. Top scale. So what do you believe this angle measurement to be? 149. 149. Now look at that number. Where did the ray fall between? What two whole numbers do you see that are listed? Did it fall between? 
Okay, 130 and 140. So would a reasonable answer be 149? Nope, okay, so relook at it again. That's the cool thing about this, guys, is with the protractor, you have to look really, really close because it's easy to make a mistake. It's a small thing with lots and lots of numbers. So check your two big numbers that it lists, 130 and 140, and now look at it and see if you can determine. Gonna try 139. All right, we are three, which is kind of hard to tell the little tick marks, but you really have to be careful with the detail in them. But the actual measurement was 136. But nice try, you got the obtuse correct. All right, what I'd like for you to do is go back to your desk, please.